probability theory. So before going to the detailed discussion about uh, probability theory, let us introduce uh, some uh, basic definitions. So first uh, definition we will see a random experiment. Random experiment. So, what is a random experiment? An experiment for which the set of all possible outcomes are known to us, but it is impossible to say which one is going to occur. That kind of experiments are known as random experiment. Okay. The set of all possible outcomes are also uh, known to us, but which one is going to occur, we cannot say in advance. Okay. For example, let us consider uh, the example of rolling a die. Now, if we roll a die, we know the possible outcomes are either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or four, 5 or 6. Okay, the set of all possible outcomes are known to us. But set of all possible outcomes are known to us. But we cannot say which one will going to occur. That is, whether 1 will occur or 2 will occur or uh, 3 will occur, we cannot uh, say. Okay, as far as uh, the die is unbiased okay so let us write the definition an experiment an experiment for which the set of possible outcomes known to us, but it is impossible to say, but it is Impossible to say in advance which one is going to is going to occur. This kind of experiments are known as a uh, random experiment. Random experiments are generally denoted by uh, capital E. Random experiments. Are generally denoted by capital E. For example, tossing a coin, if we toss a coin, we know the possible outcomes are either head or tail. But which one is going to occur, we cannot say in advance. That is, uh, first is uh, tossing a coin.
showing a showing a die etc so this are the examples of random experiment okay next will define events okay. uh, before going to events let us uh, define sample space so what is sample space the set of all possible outcomes the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is uh, known as the sample space of the random experiment the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is known as the sample space of the random experiment the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment capital e are known as the sample space of capital E, sample space of the random experiment, capital E. Okay. So sample space of a random experiment, capital E, is generally denoted by capital S. So the sample space Sample space is generally denoted by by capital S. Okay. So for example, if we consider the example of uh, rolling a die the sample space is what will be the sample space here the sample space is one two three four five six that will be the sample space connected with the random experiment of rolling a die if we uh, consider the example uh, tossing a coin so here the sample space will be h comma t that's h comma t so example s is equal to hit comma till is the sample space of the random experiment tossing a coin similarly a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the sample space
of the random experiment of the random experiment of rolling die okay now in these two examples we saw that the sample space is finite the first uh, sample space can consist only two possibilities second one consists of uh, three possible uh, sorry six possibilities okay but the sample space may be infinite also so let us consider the example of tossing a coin until we get a hit tossing a coin until we get a hit okay so here s is equal to what will it, in the first example uh, first uh, throw we get a hit so we'll stop so h if it's not the case that is first we got a tail and second throw we got a hit so what will be the point here first we are getting hit then we are getting tail then first we are getting tail second experiment we are get, throw we are getting tail third we are getting hit then first we failed second we failed third we failed this so this is the example this is the sample space sample space of the experiment of tossing a coin until we get a So this is the uh, sample space. Now, knowing sample space, let us define event event. So what is event? Any subset of the sample space any subset of the sample space is known as event any subset of the sample space is known as event let us write any subset of the sample space Cap capital S is known as as known as event any subset of the sample space is known as event okay. events are generally denoted by uppercase letter capital a capital b capital c and so on
the events are denoted by the uppercase letter capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D and so on. Okay. So what is event? Any subset of the sample space is event. Okay. So let us take an example. Now if we throw a die, we know the sample space are one, two, three. Uh, sample space consists of the possibilities one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Now, let us take. The subset, okay, let me write. The sample space of uh, the experiment of Rolling a space experiment of rolling a die is a is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the sample space. Now the single one one is a Suppose A is equal to 1, that is the occurrence of the phase 1. A, say, is equal to 1. Okay, so obviously A is a subset of S. So I'm writing in this way 1, occurrence of 1, 2, up to 6, then the even faces suppose you are rolling a die with the bet that if the even face occurs you win so when you can win if two occurs you will, will be uh, you will win if four occurs you will win if six occurs you will win okay so that is one three five there is occurrence of odd faces that is uh, two four six occurrence of even faces then 3 comma 6 that is occurrence of multiple of 3 are the events of the random experiment of tossing or uh, uh, rolling a die. Okay. Now see, each of this set this one, one is a subset of capital S, two is a subset of capital S, three is also a subset of capital S, six is a subset of capital S, this is the subset of capital S, this is also a subset of capital S. This is, so these are the events. Okay. So after knowing the definition of events now there are uh, some classification of events
Now let us define certain event certain event now what is a certain event an event which occurs in every performance of the random experiment is known as the certain event okay an event which occurs an event which occurs in every performance performance of the random experiment every uh, in every performance of the random experiment is known as certain event okay an event which occurs in every performance of the random experiment is known as a certain event what will be the example of uh, this certain event okay suppose you are playing a game with the understanding that if the game of uh, rolling a die with understanding that if event first occurs you win if odd phase occurs you win okay if even phase occurs you win if odd phase occurs you win so in every performance of the experiment either even phase will occur or odd phase will occur that is in every performance you will win okay so that's certain event okay so certain event is the sample says itself okay so certain event is denoted by capital s that is the sample space the certain event by capital S that is the sample space so that is the occurrence of even phase or odd phase connected with the random experiment of the occurrence of even phase or odd phase connected with the random experiment of rolling a die is the certain event the occurrence of
occurrence of part face or even face is a certain event of the experiment of rolling a okay the occurrence of odd face or even face is a certain event of the experiment of rolling a die so rolling a die the occurrence of even face so here occurrence of even face means for example occurrence of even face means or face means 1 3 5 b is 2 4 6 now occurrence of even face or odd face a or b that is a union b so a union b is the required event so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and ultimately we get back the sample space okay Next, let us define impossible event. So, what is impossible event? In the same, I'm not writing that impossible event. In the same way, the event which cannot occur in any performance of the experiment, an event which cannot occur in any performance of the experiment is known as impossible event okay an event which cannot occur in any performance of the experiment is known as impossible event for example suppose you are tossing a coin or rolling a die rolling a die so if you're rolling a die so the possibilities are one two three four five six now if we say occurrence of 7 so that is impossible since the phase 7 is not there okay so occurrence of 7 we connected with the experiment of uh, random experiment of rolling a die is an example of impossible event Next, let me define mutually exclusive events. Mutually mutually exclusive events so what is mutually exclusive event two events capital a and capital b are said to be mutually exclusive if the events cannot occur simultaneously the events cannot occur simultaneously okay so mutually exclusive events means two events capital a and capital b capital b are mutually exclusive
if they cannot the event uh, cannot occur simultaneously okay that is either a will occur or b will occur but a and b cannot occur together okay so that kind of experiments are mutually exclusive events okay mathematically two events are mutually exclusive two events are mutually exclusive if a intersection b is equal to phi okay so that's mutually exclusive events a intersection b is equal to phi now what will be the example of uh, this mutually exclusive events okay we are again considering the example of uh, rolling a die if we consider the example of rolling a die you know the outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, only one phase will occur. Two phases cannot occur simultaneously. That is the occurrence of 1 and occurrence of 2. They are mutually exclusive. So, the occurrence of 1 and occurrence of 2 The occurrence of one and occurrence of two are the mutually exclusive event. are the mutually exclusive events connected with the experiment experiment means random experiment experiment of rolling a rolling a die next let us let us define equally likely even points equally likely points equally likely points so that is equally likely points the 
occurrence of if the occurrence of every point that is if the chance of occurrence of every point is same in that case the points are known as equally likely points that is there is no reason to prefer occurrence of one there is no reason to favor the occurrence of one over other okay in that case the points are equally likely okay the points are equally likely means there is no reason to prof, uh, prefer there is no reason to prefer the occurrence of one point over another so the points are equally likely the points are equally likely if there is no reason to Another. That is the chance of occurrence of all the points are same. That is the chance of occurrence of all the the chance of occurrence of all the points are same okay so this is two points are equally likely if there is no reason to prefer one over another that is the chance of occurrence of all the points or both the points is same in that case the points are known as equally likely points so after knowing all these uh, definitions now we are in a position to define uh, probability so we'll see three definitions of probability first definition of probability is a classical definition of probability classical definition of probability then we'll see the frequency definition of probability and lastly we'll see the axiomatic definition of probability axiomatic definition of probability and that axiomatic definition of probability is the modern definition of probability that is probability is a number we'll see probability is a number satisfying certain conditions that's the axiomatic definition of probability So, you please go through these definitions once again. In the next class, we'll see the definitions 